Let's say we're on the 192.168.15 network and we want to route to a different subnet internally. And in this case, we want to get to the 16 network. So it's pretty easy to do. Let's say that the router is sitting at 15.100 and the other side of that is the 16 network. So we're going to type in route add and then 192.168.16.0. That's the network where we're trying to go. Then we have to put in the network mask. So I have to do is type in mask. And in this case, the mask is that, the slash 24 or 255.3 times dot zero. And then the destination gateway. This is the way out to the 16 network. So there we go. Route add. And we have all that information. Hit enter. So now we can get to our 16 network if we have a router sitting at 15.100 that's connected to 16 on the other side. Now let's say we want that uh, route to be persistent so that way even if we reboot it continues to work. So all we have to do is put in the slash p hit enter and then that way when we go to reboot it will still be there. Now if we're not sure if a route is there you can type it again and you'll see hey wait a minute that route already exists or you can type in the route print command and that tells you if that route exists or not. So we can see 192.168.16 and the destination is the 15.100 network. So that's how to add a route as well as a persistent route even after reboot on a Windows computer. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 10, Windows Server, it works on all versions of Windows.